Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be discussing can Niantic save Go Battle League? I don't know. A lot of people are dropping off from playing this. Now I want to clear something up very quickly here. I think few people did misunderstand me the last time we went over the new updates to the moves that are going to be occurring for the next season. Uh, I kind of said that to not too many people like Great League. What I was trying to say is Go Battle League in general. I understand the most popular league is the Great League. Uh, so let's clear that up, okay? Simply because it's a low entry combat power, low investment. Uh, as far as the other leagues are concerned, powering up those other Pokemon. Now you can max out things, particular things, in the Great League, but for the most part, it's generally the cheapest one to participate in. So I get it. Uh, but let's get back on to the discussion at hand here. And that is, can Niantic actually save this? Because it is declining at a very rapid rate. I've noticed it takes a while to find battles. If you're like, well, I find battles pretty fast. Uh, yeah, it can happen. It really depends on the time of day you're playing, to be honest with you. But it is on a decline as far as people being interested. Now, of course, when we do get this new maxed out season and they you know, flip everything on their head, including one of the longest standing moves that was one of the best counter is going to be switched up. Although they did kind of replace that with Force Palm, right? Including the switch clock going from 60 seconds to 50. Can these small little, well, not small, <laughs> This next season is going to be pretty big as far as those move changes. But can those changes interest the peak of people to come back to play and actually enjoy it? Well, sure. For a little while, you put up a sale, people are going to come in. But eventually, it's just going to die down again. All right. And if something was on the decline in the first place to revamp it, you're going to have to redesign and reimagine it to some degree to actually pique the interest of people and revamp that momentum that you had in the beginning that you've lost since then because you're not consistent and also the game is rigged to hell. Now, let's talk about that. Now, this is not about a big old rant. This is just a straight up discussion as to why people don't care, okay? People are sick and tired of being hard countered in the front, back, middle. Now, do we want the battles to just be handed to us easy wins? No. It's, it's good to be hard countered at times, but to the, to, to, to the degree of what we're seeing here in the manipulation of this game is absolutely and utterly ridiculous. You enter a game with a, a, with a grass type in the front. Fire, fire, flying, flying. It's like steel, okay. You switch out that grass and then now all of a sudden you're getting countered with whatever you're weak against now. It's obvious. And, for the, and I'm not even gonna discuss the people who don't believe in it. There's no point. Okay, if they don't believe in it, great. I'm not gonna take shots here. Why, why, why? Okay, but for the rest of us, this is one of the main reasons, okay? And then you have another situation where, you know, you have cheating going on, all right? And people, you know, a lot of people don't really even know, okay? Uh, what they're more concerned about is just probably the, the, the lack of care that Niantic is taking for this or the concern of uh, frame skipping, lag, and all those things like that. Again, we can't say every little bit of lag is somebody cheating. No, okay, definitely not. I'm gonna say 95% of the time, probably like 99% of the time it's lagging. It is going to be because of the game. And look at this person. Look, look, look at that. See, now they're screwed, okay? What if they couldn't tap or something? That's happened to me before where I straight up just couldn't tap the screen or there's times where I can't hit my charge move. It's these little things that really dampers the experience of Go Battle League, making people very discouraged and not wanting to come back. And then when they do come back and give it another shot several weeks later or a week later or whatever the case may be, they're encountering these same problems yet again and even probably at a seven times fold uh, problem, all right? It's even worse. So this is the reason why it's falling off. Also, the format needs to change. We've discussed this before. We've been talking about this for a while, but they need to bring out have six, pick three. So, and I know the concern that people do have when bringing this up is the fact that it's going to take longer to complete our battles, which, yeah, it'll, uh, we, uh, we did the math. And if you have an extra, like, so when you encounter somebody, right, you see their team of six, they see yours, you pick three, they can't see it until you, you know, obviously you start battling and stuff. Um, but you would have, let's just say 10, well, not 10 seconds, that's a little quick, 15 to 20 seconds to pick. Seeing that the battles are very quick anyways, or at least when you encounter somebody, it's just very brief. You like see their name and then it's like immediately into the battle. 
I really don't see a problem with it being like 15 seconds to pick your Pokemon, 20 probably, and that'll tax on an extra like, was it three to five minutes, if that, which I honestly don't think is too big of an issue, uh, especially if it's going to increase the quality or at least the um, potential for more even battles without manipulation. And also bringing up the point too, that if you're going up against a bot, which there are bots, it could manipulate you too. I mean, it's not that difficult. Even if you see their team, uh, it can just counter the picks that you have. Not trying to get paranoid, but I'm just realistic. When you've spent so much time in Go Battle League consistently all the time, you start not just seeing patterns because humans are meant to be like that, to pick up patterns, but you start to see the truth. With the voice of many others, it's just clear as day. All right, so that's where we're at. I do not think that, you know, it's gonna revive itself with this uh, new setup that they have going on here for Go Battle League and how they're gonna be changing a lot of moves. It's definitely gonna shake it up and I'm very, you know, I'm not gonna say very excited, but I'm pretty excited and I'm happy for it. And I still do enjoy doing my battles, okay? I really do, at the end of the day, Pokemon, it's all about battling, at least for me, all right? And I've been waiting for this, I don't know, for a long time, PvP, and when we first got it, oh my goodness, it was amazing. And here we are, and we have Go Battle League, right? And I'm very happy and grateful for it. It's just I wish that they would listen to us and at least kind of put more effort or time, or at least announcements, and kind of clear up the air on what is really going on with it as far as the lags, frame skipping, and all the literal, literal other issues uh, not being able to tap the screen, uh, being kicked out of a battle when both of you hit a charge move, uh, and then it just simply doesn't count. It's like, what is going on here, you know? Uh, but we'll just have to see. And I just want to let you know, don't be discouraged by all the nonsense right, of this game. And it does earn you a lot of Stardust, too. That is another perk. You could quite literally do this for free without using a premium pass and still earn a good chunk of stardust, especially at the end of the season. If you do put in a little bit of work, you can get yourself a good amount of dust, uh, you know, especially if you turn on a star piece right before you collect it into the next season. So it definitely is worth doing. And I definitely would wish that they would <laughs> let us know more on the inside of what's going on. But it seems like they've reached a point where they just simply had had enough of us and they just are not interested. But I have to also say, recently, they've kind of been a little bit more vocal and open as to what is going on for errors, glitches, and letting us know what's happening. Redoing events, which I understand is completely frustrating within itself because you take a day off, plan for an event, it screws up and then they have a remake day. And well, if you have a job that you have to go to, <laughs> You can't just take the day off again, so that's screwed up. So yeah, I'm just gonna let this flow through here for a little bit, not continuously unedited, but I just wanted you to see. I was in bed doing my battles and long day with the family, and it just started hard countering me, and I got to the point where I just backed out. Do I keep quitting until I get a good lead? No, that it's not that. That's not the way it is. And if there's any hard heads out there who want to keep on, you know, thinking that, actually, I don't really get comments like that, so. You, get, you guys get it, and gals, you understand. Um, I think we've weeded out all the all the, the silly people, let's put it that way. I don't want to say get all mean and stuff, but uh, to the point where it's just like their voice has become washed out, and attacking me over and over again has become boring, and the grift is kind of coming to an end for using my name, although it certainly still happens. You better freaking believe it. Uh, but there you have it, folks. As far as Go Battle League, I think what could really help it is simply the, you know, have six, pick three. Um, 15 to 20 seconds to pick. And it would it will make the battle feel much more uh, in your control, in your hands, at least to some degree. If you didn't pick the right Pokemon to counter theirs, I mean, that's a pretty, you know, decent chance that you're going to at least have a, somewhat of a good counter to them. Uh, but if you screw up, that's just all on you. But um, that's just that's all. That's what I think. Uh, what else can we do? Oh, I know. Uh, I was talking about this for a long time too. Back in the day when I really liked to battle, now I'm looking at the clock. I'm like, okay, it's almost an hour and 30 minutes into these battles. I'm almost done here. I'm on my last set. Thank goodness. Before I would uh, I would dread 
being on my last set and my last battle because I just itched to do it more. I wanted to battle more, but not so much anymore. And really, not not too much at all. Um, but hey, so what I was thinking is, and I'm not the only one who's talked about this before, let's be clear about that, um, but some sort of an online matchmaking system without ranks. You can just battle people for fun, for practice, and if you're thinking, well, that's, you know, that's what your friends list is for. Not everybody's got a big old friends list of people that are ready to go to battle. It would be nice to hop into an online matchmaking system and not have to go up against ranks, just simply for fun, right? Just battle somebody. No stakes involved, no rewards, just battle. Now, somebody bring up a point, I remember reading a while back, like that's just another thing that's going to tie down their system, tie down their server, slow it down even more. So you're going to have people battling into go battle league ranked, and then you're also going to have people battling non-ranked, which could be a lot of people, which could bring even more problems in, in the form of skate frame skipping lag and all those kind of things. Um, I mean, I guess, but I, I don't know. I, I don't think it's too much of an issue. <laughs> And that would make a lot of people happy and it would definitely help people to get practice in. All right. Again, not everybody's got people that they can battle with and not everybody wants to go online to look for people that are ready to battle because I'm going to be quite honest with you. OK, this is not to take a jab at anybody and this is not meaning everyone. But quite frankly, a lot of the PvP community is toxic as hell in Pokemon Go. They act like they're so low. Well, welcome everybody, welcome you. And then, but then they'll go and start running their mouth. These people talk so much crap behind the scenes, okay? And they'll even talk to your face. Uh, well, no, not to your face, online. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. De definitely not to your face. No, they will not. But they sure will online. And these people are just um, very idiotic. I don't know, it, it's so weird. And that's another reason why people just don't give a damn or want to get involved. Now, of course, that's not everybody. So, you know, I'd say half. Okay. Yeah, quite literally. And there's definitely good people in the community too. So let's not get it twisted for sure. Um, but at the end of the day, somebody just wants to go online and battle somebody. Okay. Without having to go into friends and say, hey, want to battle me? Want to battle? Not really. Not really. Not really. No, no, no. But when you hop online with somebody else, there you go. So I don't know, folks. Um, people were, at, were, were discussing a turn-based. That's not happening that it's Pokemon Go, it's not main series games, right? You want to do that, you go on to the main series games. Um, as much as I would have loved a separate category for that, sure, I'll take it, I'm down. They're just not gonna do that. But hey, at the end of the day, we'll just have to see where they take this. If you can give this a thumbs up, that'd be much appreciated. I'll catch you all next time.